Asset prices are upon commodities now, which have seen some consolidation as other asset classes as well. Yesterday was a strong day, but today markets actually are taking profit after that second bailout for Greece, and it's more or less consolidation. But the news, of course, goes on in case of the crude prices, which still are trading at a fresh nine-month highs, 121 holding on for Brent, and 106 is how the NYMEX crude prices are trading at this point in time. Very marginal trades happening onto that one. Let's go across then to Mr. Ram Pitre. He's head research, ITI Limited, and he joins us on the show. Ram, hi, welcome to the show. Let's start with the crude prices first and the kind of run-up that this commodity has seen in the previous week, this week as well. Are you looking at further gains? Yes, uh, from international, uh, uh, the crude has a very important level has broken at 104.85 uh, dollars, and it is trading above uh, that. It's now cl uh, close to around 106 dollars. Suggests that uh, 103.40, 103.50 dollars on the downside is a strong support for international market, and as long as it remains above that level, uh, crude uh, likely to uh, go uh, upward uh, to almost 107, 108, or even 110 is a uh, uh, immediate target. So I personally feel uh, is crude uh, bought uh, to be bought on dips. In domestic market, we have seen a, a, a low of almost. Uh, Four seven one zero, and from there it has rallied up almost 500 points uh, in rupee terms, and it is uh, trading uh, above 5200. And looks like it is uh, any time it may touch 5285 and 5300 on uh, other either today or tomorrow. Ram, how about the gold and silver prices? Because after the recent run up or run up yesterday, today has been some consolidation. Are you a buyer at these current levels? No, I have to wait for uh, the support type uh, on a deep. But definitely, I'll be buying uh, gold, uh, gold as well as silver with a stricter stop loss because we have seen a, a low of one thousand seven hundred six dollars on international market, and it has uh, bounced back and it is close to the recent high of one thousand seven sixty three dollars. The break and the close above that level, a quick rally to almost one thousand seven seventy five dollars, and in domestic market, uh, uh, if uh, we have <coughs> seen the recent. Uh, High of twenty-eight thousand five hundred and ten has been broken today, and it is trading above that level. Looks like it is heading toward twenty-eight thousand six hundred and twenty-eight thousand eight hundred in near future. Ram, one word on the copper prices as well. As after yesterday's gains, we've seen some consolidation there as well. L&E yes. inventories have declined eighteen percent in this year. Do you see that as a strong fundamental for the prices? Yeah, definitely. Uh, it has corrected a bit uh, from uh, you know, international market L&E uh, after touching eight thousand seven sixty-five dollars. As a correction up to 8,000, 8,130, almost 600, 700 dollars correction, and it has bounced back. And definitely, the effect of international market, China has reduced the sea of reserve requirement and uh, some positive signal from Euro, uh, supporting the international uh, uh, copper prices as well as the domestic prices uh, in near term.